Hello, my name is Ken, and I want to welcome you back to Deep Water. This podcast is brought to you by Applied Strengths Ministry, where we believe working together in our strengths is the effect of working out the will and calling of God in our lives. The title of this message is Church Purpose. This is Series 2, Episode 28 of 28. This is the last in the series. Let's cross the finish line without regret. Jesus sent his disciples out. He said, I send you out into the world among the wolves. John 17, 18. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. Matthew 10, 16. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. He also said for us to go into the world. Matthew 28, 19, 20. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Mark 16, 20. They went out everywhere. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. Go out and everywhere should stand out as pretty clear instruction that away from the base is where all the evangelism and preaching action should be taking place. Is it any wonder that churches don't want anyone casting out demons at the church address? This activity can be done in the street so that the gospel is demonstrated in power. The world is a fish farm, not the church. This is and should be the equipping center for the believers and those being saved. Could you imagine the military taking on people into the barracks and then sending the recruiter inside the barracks trying to convince them that that's where they belong? It just doesn't make sense. If we get equipped at a church that is actually functioning like a revival center, like a military compound, we grow and mature, not a cult compound, but with just enough structure that we are equipping the saints for the work of ministry. In practice, we should by all means be equipping the saints for the work of ministry so as to send them out, out into the workplace, at kids' sporting events, bingo clubs, potlucks and picnic events, concerts and bars, professional sporting events, their bank, the grocery store, the post office, their social media accounts, all of them. My mom used to say when she was tired of us kids hanging around the house, turning it into an indoor rodeo event, to get out, out, out. You see, if we tried to bring the unknown guests into our house, there was a vetting process to ensure they were okay. It seems like we think God will convert a child of the devil while he sits in the church with a contrary purpose. That's not how I got saved. Since we are in the same war God is fighting in the heavenlies, perhaps we should look to the type and shadow of our military system in terms of training, equipping, building camaraderie, teaching them that we should have each other's back and go so far as to die for your fellow brother in Christ. I know it's a lot to take in, but in truth, it only looks huge because, well, it is. God stated we could just speak to the mountain and it will jump into the sea. Perhaps we could speak to the dead churches and fill the ocean. Better that they be at the bottom of the sea than to be dried up and ineffective on land, only to continue to get in the way of the active, the very active and alive church. Where is that one? I want to go. Listen, if you take this one on as your own personal mission, or if you are a pastor and just resonates with you, then please expect massive pushback from the religiously religious. It was always this way when God did what he wanted to do. I watched a popular movie called 300 where the Greece army was huge and very powerful. That is until they realized that being in a powerful military might cost them their very lives. As you may be aware, only 300 men were up to the initial challenge. The good news is that when the massive army did show up again, the remaining army answered the call to arms. The brave 300 left a good example. We too have been left a good example that we should follow in it. Be one of the 300. The fivefold ministers, that is the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, are like logistical analysts and suppliers. Just like the military, where everything is geared to ensure the soldier has everything they need in order to engage the enemy. We too are to do the same. But, and this is a big but, we need your help. The church is not in trouble just because of its leadership. Nope. I have seen the body self-destruct and act in crisis 
as though it hadn't learned anything about what it is to be a Christian. I have seen both sides. Approximately 70% of recruits attrition out of the Navy SEALs. This should not be so in the church if you are an authentically born-again believer. Yet I have seen numbers this high. They come in one way and they go out the same way. First off, the leadership, that is the fivefold ministers, should be very bothered by this. But equally, the soldiers of God should not accept a level of training that does not equip them for the work of ministry. The sergeant or captain is not to blame for your quit. That's on you. But by all means, if you want to be trained in the things of God, you must be in a place where someone can and is willing and is able to actually train you. Humble and receptive, I have seen and heard excuses steal more Christian futures than death itself. That is a result of a weapon that was formed and fashioned, and instead of it not prospering, it prospered and hit its intended target. Isaiah 54:17. It is possible that you have an unteachable spirit because, well, you already know all there is to know about God, and ain't no one going to deceive you now. Well, if you knew all there is to know, then ain't no one can deceive you. But the truth is that teachers are trained up until the day they die. A five-star general has more to learn. He doesn't stop at star three. You don't arrive somewhere to stop when you think you have had enough. You go until you grow, until you die. In my past life as a gym rat, I would regularly, on my heavy days, leg press over a thousand pounds. And when I did several sets and it was over, boy, did it feel good. But the next day I could hardly walk, sometimes for two or three days. But it didn't stop me from doing it again. The pain from the trials, tribulations, sufferings, persecutions, etc., that comes in this battle is good as long as you are growing. You don't stop because it hurts. You continue because of the benefits that you have gained. Jesus was perfected by suffering. Therefore, so can we. In summary, oh boy, I have had several summaries already, but I wrap it up by sharing that my heart and soul is fully committed to seeing people become the best version of themselves. If you are a Christian, then this should absolutely be your desire as well. I see a church in trouble. I'm not the almighty church inspector, but what I have seen, I know is fixable. Some of the fixes I have shared are out there. I mean, they seem like impossible requests, right? Could you imagine churches refocusing on the sheep they have rather than getting new ones? God will bring you the sheep that you can handle. Give me 30 on fire, fully committed Christians who are in it to win it, and the world will be turned upside down and inside out in no time. Well, that's it for today and for this series. I'm not sure I can add anything else to this core ministry message other than to say it is at the core of my teaching heart that many, many more of us would be found running for God with everything in us. Remember, it's not what you find wrong or disagree with regarding these messages, but what you can take away from it. Together, we can do more to impact the kingdom than if we work alone. Let's flip the script and kill, still and destroy the works of the enemy and create space for the light of lights to shine through into people's lives. Plant a seed and click on the like and subscribe button. Let's build this ministry together. Thanks and see you next time in Deep Water.